our third annual festival of the Day of the Dead and we're gonna open the festival at 11 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock in the evening. It is a family event and we're gonna have uh, about 35 offerings, ofrendas, and we invite the whole community to be part of us. We're gonna have some of the altars open to community so if you're gonna bring some pictures of uh, friends and family that left us you're more than welcome to do that. We're gonna have a lot of costumes and very, very good music. We're gonna have Mexican food, of course, and mariachi, of course, and we're gonna have uh, the whole community to be part of it. So we expect you here on Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock at night. Bring your children, bring your family, bring your grandparents, and we all gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna be here the whole event. So I'll be very happy to meet you and to see you and to share our culture because we believe that culture is power. And we, we really believe that our campus is like a family. So bring your family, bring your familia and join us for a wonderful event this Saturday that has become a very strong tradition here in the United States. My name is Carlos Bonson and I work here for the National Hispanic University. And one of the fields that I specialized in is the celebration of the Day of the Dead. And we know that we've been burying our dead for more than 35,000 years ago that they would bury them with flowers. However, for Mexico and the Mesoamerican culture, we have evidence that the Olmec culture that is uh, 3,500 years ago they were already doing the ritual for the dead. And then from there, it spread over central Mexico and the Mayan culture and also the Zapotec culture. So we have a very, very long tradition and then it became very regional. So we have variations that, you know, between the regions is a little different, but basically is the same, is to celebrate the lives of those that passed away and to give them the light of the candles, of course, give them water because they're going to be thirsty with the journey and put the food that they like, all type of food that they like and also games for example, dominoes or cards or the things, if they like baseball, put a baseball in the altar. So the tradition is to put everything that made our beloved ones that passed away make them welcome and make them happy and so they know that although they're gone we still celebrate the history that they had uh, with us. So it's a very, very long, beautiful tradition and I'm really happy to have uh, decided to make it one of my specializations. For uh, people of Mexican ancestry and also El Salvador and Guatemala, even Central America, when you migrate, it's, uh, I lived it myself, it's not easy that the first time that you have the Day of the Dead, you don't have the cemetery to go to and to put flowers on the tombs of uh, your beloved ones. And also you don't have your community where you open the doors to, to the town where you live and they can come in and they can eat and we can share the food that we're giving also for our, um, for our defuntos, how we call them. And uh, then it, there's a major change because you don't have those places where to do the ritual and suddenly start becoming more like a festival then instead of being open only for your small community it became open to the larger community and i believe in change i believe that's beautiful some people believe that it should be kept traditional but uh, tradition changes and it has to change and for example, um, I've seen, well, my students have done it and people in the community have done it. For example, to create an altar for the people that died in the tragedy of 9-11 or they died in train crashes or they died uh, in the war. 
and it became more like a public uh, event. And honestly, I love it. I think that it's wonderful to be able to witness those changes and to see that the community, not only the uh, Latino community, but now members of the larger community are, are being participants and we give them a, another angle, another view to appreciate um, you know, our loved ones when they were alive and when they already passed away. So I'm very proud to be part of these changes and I'm very proud of our community that continues to celebrate it in, in a more open context. So I believe in changes and uh, I believe that it's good for us.